very good afternoon to all the dignitaries and respected uh, resource person and also dr a shailaja madam also joined with us uh, today is a great day from autonomous college siddipet dr a shailaja madam also uh, madam will also going to uh, take uh, two or three sessions but today uh, one of the eminent resource personality dr p manjula madam garu assistant professor department of botany rbvrr women's college hyderabad autonomous please welcome madam and uh, start your session madam please okay thank you sir <laughs> uh, madam if possible uh, enlarge uh, uh, dini pedha vetate mana prayatnam cheyagalutara madam now is it okay sir yes it's now it's okay madam please proceed okay okay so okay, yes sir thank you sir for giving this opportunity so so i will start today's class that is introduction of ecology so ecology also important for uh, on this competitive exams so today we will start the ecology so you already know about some terms in ecology okay so what is ecology Girl, sir is it moving slide yes yes madam it is moving please you proceed okay okay thank you sir so what is ecology so ecology it is the scientific study of interaction between organisms and their environment so it is called as a ecology so ecology means so it is the uh, interaction between living organisms and their surrounding environment so it constitute the ecology so it is the science that seeks to describe and explain the relationship between the living organisms how the living organism will depend on the other environmental factors or other abiotic factors so it is the uh, it describes and explain the relationship between the living organisms and their surrounding environment so ecology describes the relationship between the living organisms and their environment so the term ecology was uh, uh, coined from their uh, from greek word so this uh, ecology the term is obtained from the greek word so in greek that is oikos means house and logos means study study of life so ecology means that is the study of life which is surrounded by the surrounding environment okay so study of the house or environment in which we live so it is called as the ecology so the meaning of the word ecology was first given by german biologist heckel in 1869 generally in competitive exams like this type of questions only so the term ecology was coined by uh, who proposes like this questions only generally they will ask in ecology so the term ecology was uh, given by heckel the meaning the term ecology was given by uh, german biologist heckel in 1869 and that the word uh, ecology is derived from the greek word that is oikos mean meaning house and habitat or place of living and logos means studying to study so ecology is defined as the study of interrelationship of different organisms with each other and also with their environment so uh, they interact with the living organisms also and also with their surrounding environment so it is concerned with the general principle that apply to both animals and plants so generally here the living organisms mean both plants animals and all uh, living organisms so generally in ecology so there are two factors generally in any so these are the two components of the ecosystem or ecology so that is abiotic factors so in any ecosystem or in any ecology in, in any ecosystem so generally it is uh, comprised of two types that is biotic factors and abiotic factors so abiotic factors means that is non living components and are those are inner factors of the ecosystem as the light so examples when that is the abiotic factors means light the temperature and the chemical products and also water and atmosphere which all constitute the abiotic factors that is non living components and biotic factors that is living organisms so they are all living that is they have life so generally non living components which include light water wind nutrients in the soil heat solar radiation atmosphere and all all other factors so soil all the all, all other factors also comes under non living so living that is plants animals microorganisms in the soil so all comes under living organism so living factors that is biotic abiotic and abiotic factors so generally ecosystem which is comprised of two components that is biotic and abiotic biotic means living and abiotic means non living so abiotic which again 
like light water wind the nutrients in the soil so generally what are the nutrients which are present in soil means nitrogen phosphorus sulfur so all factors which are nutrients which are present in the soil so uh, ernst heckel a german geologist coined the term ecology so heckel the term ecology was coined by heckel in 1866 and after that the danish botanist that is warming so elaborated the idea of ecology so the ecology was coined by heckel and it is elaborated the idea of ecology was elaborated by warming so here that in the ecology so again there are different types of classification that is population ecology community ecology and ecosystem ecology so based on the uh, study so here the population ecology means so if the uh, the population ecology is more, only studies the dynamics of the populations of a single species are concerned so here in population ecology so population ecology uh, mainly deals with the populations of a single species okay so uh, so again we will uh, i will explain about this terms population community ecosystem okay so community ecology it is a as community ecology it is also known as a scenicology so it mainly focuses on the interactions between the species within the ecological community so group of populations constitute the community okay so here the uh, community ecology it is also known as a scenicology so ge generally this art ecology means or uh, art ecology refined uh, refers to all scenicology refers to like that the questions only generally they will come in exam question competitive exam scenicology so it mainly comprises of that is a, it is the interaction between the species within the ecological community that is study of the community here okay here the study of population only we are taking only one population single population is taken into consideration here in population ecology so it is also known as art ecology whereas a community ecology it is also known as scenicology so ecosystem ecology it is also studies the flows of energy and matter through the biotic and abiotic components of the ecosystem so here the study of ecosystems here here only group of communities group of populations in community ecology here population only one group of species are taken into consideration so here the population means anyone so human beings it comes under one population animals of any one uh, group so dogs which comes under one population plants of the same so it comes under one so same species here single species so here the levels of ecology so it starts with the individual so here individual so here the group of individuals constitute the population and group of population interacts and they forms the community so here the community different communities forms an ecosystem so in an ecosystem all different communities may present so here the landscape so next to it, uh, it uh, the higher level of this landscape is the biome and last one is the biosphere so these are the levels of ecology so here so these are important for a competitive exam that is art ecology and scenicology so generally this type of questions will come so it refers to art ecology so it deals with the study of a, an individual species of organisms and its population so the ecologists mainly study the behavior and adaptations of a particular species to the environmental conditions at every stage of that individual's life cycle so from the the beginning to the beginning of the life to old age like that so they study at every stage of the individuals so it comes under art ecology so it is also called as the species ecology so here only we are taking into consideration only one species are taken into consideration to study so art ecology deals with the study of individual species of organism and its population so here only we are taking into only one species are taken into consideration so the ecology study the behavior and adaptations of the particular species to the environmental conditions at every stage of that individual life cycle so in the life cycle of individual first birth to death okay so what are the factors which influence the what are the what are the environmental factors which influence the uh, growth of these organisms like that so scenicology deals with the study of communities so their composition their behavior and relation with the environment so it is also called as the ecology of communities so here scenicology means here we study the group of communities that is group of populations and also the communities so here the community ecology and ecosystem ecology so it is also called as the ecology of communities scenicology it is also called as the 
ecology of community. So it is further divided into three types, population ecology, community ecology, and ecosystem ecology. So here ecology means species ecology. Okay, so it deals with the study of individual species of organism. Only here, only we are taking only one species are taken into consideration here. In, in sericology, so here the group of uh, species, population ecology, community ecology, and ecosystem ecology. So a biosphere means that is the surface of the earth and it is the whole portion of the earth colonized by living organisms. So it is called as the biosphere. Bio means living, sphere means surface of the earth, okay? So region or uh, region or biome. So it is a group of ecosystems, the same climate and dominant community. So it is called as a region. So it is also known as a biome. So here different biomes like, so these are the tropical rainforest. So here in this region, the group of ecosystems with the, here the uh, climate, that is the same climate and the dominant. So here the space, which is um, the area, which is occupied by the same climate. So group of ecosystems with the same climate and dominant communities. So here, these are the different types of biomes. So a region, it is also known as a biome. So you have tropical rainforest, tropical dry forest, tropical savanna, desert, uh, woodland, and uh, temperate, uh, temperate grassland, temperate forest. So these are the different. So here, the climate is same. Same climate is maintaining particular areas. So tundras, mountains, and ice caps. So here always the same. They maintain here the they maintain the same climate. So ecosystem means it is a group of communities and populations within them embedded in a common physical environment and tied together by physical process. So here the ecosystem means group of communities and the populations within them. So uh, here the uh, the play the area which is occupied by the different uh, communities and populations. So it refers to all abiotic. So here here physical process means so all abiotic factors and all communities that establish in a specific area. So it is a collection of organisms that live in a place with the non living environment. So ecosystem means it consists of uh, different types of uh, communities with surrounding environment. So community means a group of populations of different species occurring in one place. And individuals of different species may interact with each other. So here the different species, they will interact with each other. For example, different species, like for example, plants and animals. So uh, animals generally dependent on plants like that. So different species, but they may interact with each other. So and all the living beings distributed into a specific geographical area. So a community, it includes organisms of different species are different populations. So we different populations also constitute the community. So in community, different types of populations are present. So population means a group of similar species. So here population. So population means a group of individuals given of a given species that live in specific geographical areas. So a group of organisms. So all of them, all of the same species and which interbreed and live in the same area. So it is called as a population. So a group of individuals that collectively interact to give birth to new individuals and evenly die. So here group of uh, same species, a group of individuals of the same species, it constitutes the population. So here the pop, uh, here community means group of populations of different species. So here the different populations constitute the community, okay? So next to ecosystem, it is a generally, it is a dynamic complex of plant, animal and microorganism communities and their non-living environment and interacting as a functional unit. So every element of the environment have their own ecosystem. So a dynamic ecosystem, it makes the balance of nature. So these are the different types of ecosystems. So this one is the so here is, this one is a uh, forest forest ecosystem so this one is the grassland ecosystem this one is the ocean ecosystem so here based on the area and also the here the dominant species also varies so here in forest ecosystem the uh, the generally the producer based on the producers so here the producers are uh, trees here in uh, forest ecosystem so here this is the level of tropical level that is uh, how uh, how they are interact with each other. So here the 
here in this ecosystem so here the soil soil here the solar energy and also so here different types of living organisms so here energy flows from so here this in pink color that is energy flowing through the ecosystem so from the producers to uh, primary consumers to, to secondary consumers and tertiary consumers so this is a one ecosystem so in any ecosystem it contains both living organisms and non living factors or components so this one is another type of ecosystem so this is a um, food chains okay food chain and food web so here the grass so how they are interacting in an ecosystem so this one is a grass ecosystem so here this one is the grass so along with this other living so here the grass that is grass it is a, um, that is producers and different types of living organisms so along with this so here soil so other non biotic factors also there abiotic factors also there that is sunlight sand etc so here is, this one is the ocean so ocean ecosystem so here in ocean also so here the uh, here in a small phytoplankton are there so other living organisms snow mountains so uh, waterfall so here different these all comes under the abiotic factors so the term so in last uh, slide we discussed about the term ecology was coined by ecology was coined by heckel okay so here the term ecosystems so ecosystem it was coined by ag tonsley in 1935 so he defined it as the system resulting from the interaction of all the living and non living factors of the environment so it is the interaction between the living and non living factors of the environment and the term ecosystem so manaki generally in competitive exam so multiple what you call so so generally the terms they will come like so here choose the correct pair like that questions will come so the term uh, the term ecology was coined by heckel and the term ecosystem was coined by ag tonsley okay so he defined it as a system resulting from the interaction of all the living and non living factors of the environment so an ecosystem it consists of the biological community that occurs in some local and the physical and chemical factors that makes up its non living or abiotic environment so there are many examples of ecosystem so examples of ecosystem are here the pond ecosystem a forest ecosystem an estuary or a grassland uh, here the desert ecosystem coral reef ecosystem prairies so tundra so different types of ecosystems so next one is the types of ecosystem so again here based on the uh, operational conditions so here again they are classified into two types that is uh, natural ecosystem and artificial ecosystem so natural ecosystem so these are operated under natural conditions without any major interference of man human beings so it is called as a natural ecosystem so here uh, here these are the examples for natural ecosystem so first one is the terrestrial ecosystem so examples for terrestrial so terrestrial ecosystem means which which uh, comes under the land okay so on the land so forest ecosystem grassland ecosystem and desert ecosystem whereas in the aquatic ecosystem that is uh, the ecosystem which uh, uh, which occupies the um, water body so here the ecosystem which uh, present on the water body is like fresh water so here again fresh water and uh, a uh, uh, fresh water and marine water ecosystem so in the fresh water again two types that is lotic and lentic so lotic means the running water like spring stream or river so it comes under the lotic and lentic means standing water so standing water examples are lake pond pools etc so here also one so here the lentic and lotic so exam example for lentic ecosystem or lotic ecosystem so it comes under fresh water ecosystem so aquatic ecosystem means so ecosystem which occurs on the water bodies so here the water bodies again classified into fresh water and marine water so again in the fresh water again they are classified into lotic and lentic so lotic means running water like river rivers springs streams etc and lentic means standing water that is lake pond pools etc girls any doubt 
so next one is the marine water so such as deep bodies as an ocean so shallow ones are sea are an estuary so this comes under the marine waters so this one is the lentic that is uh, standing water and lotic means flowing water example is river ecosystem so next one is the artificial ecosystem that is uh, that is operated by human beings so these are maintained artificially by man whereby addition of energy and planned manipulation and uh, natural balance is disturbed regularly so here is the artificial ecosystem it is a man made ecosystem so it is so here the by here the we only supply the energy and also other materials for the growth of the organism so for example here the crop plant so we also we only maintain all the conditions for the growth of this plant so these are maintained artificially by, by man and with by addition of energy and plant manipulation is required so example here the crop land ecosystem and also the aquarium also comes under here artificial ecosystem so in we only supplying the material energy for the growth of these species <coughs> so here in artificial ecosystem examples are crop land ecosystem and aquarium so these are the components of the ecosystem so here the ecosystem the mainly ecosystem constitute the two components that is abiotic components and biotic components so here in abiotic components again they are classified into climatic factors and edaphic factors so climatic factors means that is rain light wind temperature so these all are comes under the climatic factors whereas the edaphic factors means soil so a type of soil different types of soil and also the ph minerals and the topography so these all are comes under the soil structure so edaphic factors so again here the biotic components so biotic components are classified into three types so producers consumers and decomposers so producers so uh, so here uh, biotic components they can constitute generally producers consumers and uh, decomposers so producers means they produce the energy for other living organisms so hence they are called as the producers so producers are also known as autotrophs that is they synthesize their own food materials in the presence of sunlight 